the hand, my brother. You stated you X me out of your legend book. Let me just say this. I can hear it in your voice that you sound like a scorned fan. Always remember this. You can hide history, but you cannot erase history. So whether I'm in your book or not, it is what it is, bro, for a street side. Now, I also want to remind you that your book don't count to me. That, that's nothing to me. But at the end of the day, I go by the book of Allah, the Quran, Surah 101, Ayah 1311. That's Surah al qariyah Then you got Surah 66, uh, Surah 66, Ayah 8. That's what I go by when I deal with the books. You said you had respect for me. Uh, no, you said you, you said you had yeah you said you had respect for me due to what you heard in the streets. But it sounded like a contradiction to me with you because you would say on one hand you had respect for me with all the stories you heard in the streets. That's why you had the respect for me. But however, you lost respect for me because of the rumors of what you're hearing now. So which is it? It's like you picking how you want to feel, and I understand it. You have a right to do that. Now. You say to take the name gangsta off. I could take the gangsta off. Who are you to tell me what I can do? Bro, you from Baton Rouge. You're out from me. You know you must qualify to speak on me, man. Stay in your lane. The, the, stay in the rap lane, matter of fact. You ain't much, you know you much a street dude. The dudes that you speak on ain't go to my homies that love me till to this day. Always remember this, bro. Whenever they say they love you, if they truly love you from day one, no matter what you do or what you go through, they're going to still love you regardless. The same homies you speaking on Angola that you say stand on, on my name and respect me, that's the same homies when you went to Angola behind Katrina, behind a storm because they sent y'all out of the county jail. When you went there, those are the same homies that I reached out to to make sure you was okay. And you know what they came back and say? Oh, he good. He in protected custody. So when you get on Vlad and you be telling all these old wild, goofy stories about you was in Angola, man, you was in protected custody, man. You only made to Angola because of the storm. They had to move you all somewhere. So keep that in mind, bro. You know, I know the things. I just sit back and watch. But I couldn't pass this opportunity up. You're on a big stage right now. And, boy, you better get me another check. I pre boy, you rappers coming out the Woolworth. I appreciate this one here. Now, uh, let's address, uh, you said I want to be like uh, the guy at Kiefer D. First of all, it is what it is with my situation. I don't have a poor point to you and nobody else. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I don't call to kiss nobody, but I, I'm not trying to be friends with nobody. You know, the person can like me or not. You know, I don't want nobody to pick size and how you saying this one, there, this one over there. Bro, people are gonna believe what they want to believe. I am free. You also made a statement. Some gonna make it out and some not. Bro, listen to what you say sometimes. Cause sometimes we speak out of ignorance. Some gonna make it out and some not. Boosie. I made it out. I was one of the ones that made it out. You also bring up the homie BG. And this is with respect to BG. You can't compare the two of us. I was charged with an 848 continuing criminal enterprise, solicitated to commit murder, and was sentenced to life for two murders I was never indicted or charged with. So that crap you talking about, BG not talking, uh, BG this and that. BG was charged, BG had a gun case and was given 14 years, was given a release date from the door. I was never given a fight and chance. They didn't even let me go to trial. They just gave me life for two murders. I was never indicted for them. Now, you you you, you mentioned religion, because I know there's a lot of you all like to mention religion with street stuff. You say get in there and pray. Bro, I prayed for 23 years, 10 months, and God answered that prayer. It was the cut of Allah to have me released. Because you got to keep in mind is this. Had I not take the, took the road I took to get out of prison and died in prison, and when I meet my Lord on the day of judgment, on Yama Ki Yama, and say, Ya Allah, I prayed and asked you to release me, and you never released me. The only thing I could think of, what the Lord gonna tell me, or may tell me, because Allah, 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 Allah knows best what he's gonna say, is, guess what? I gave you opportunity to get out. You let it pass you up. God give us the intellect to think, you know. 
And common sense is free. All you gotta yeah. do is use it sometimes, boost. But like I said, I understand, you know, that, you know, you heard about these wild gangster stories and you took it and ran with it and, and, and you believe that, but yet you won't believe all the other stuff. This stuff is just wild, it's crazy. But I get it, you know. You know, people gonna have believe what they wanna believe, people gonna say, you know, they believe this and all that's fine. But at the end of the day, I don't know you. I mean, you never had a conversation. All that you seen word when you first got locked up, tell gangs what's up, you were trying to send me your book. But other than that, bro, I don't know you. I didn't. You never sent me a diamond Chinese money when you went home. So all that uh, real legend book and all that, uh, the dudes in your legend book, do you look out for them? Do you take care of them? The guy that took the choice for you, you ain't must help this man get a lawyer. But you get on Vlad and speak like you got so much morals and principles, but yet you wild out and do goofy stuff yourself, you know? But like I say, I really appreciate this. Thank you very much for this. It's another check for me, bro. I really appreciate it because I'm monetized now. So, as long as 